Welcome to the virtual Fort Wayne Cherry Blossom Festival for 2021. I'm Janice Furtner, and it is my privilege to exhibit and teach paper cutting at this annual, usually live event at the Allen County Public Library. Well, since we're all virtual this year, I'll take this opportunity to share my paper cutting journey, my paper trail, if you will, with you. All my works begin with a blank piece of paper. No drawing, no folding, just a smooth piece, usually black, and an idea that's been ruminating around in my inner eye for months, sometimes years. Although I'm constantly writing, drawing, and dreaming, when I cut paper, it is very simple. A piece of paper and an idea. As I cut the paper, I am constantly turning the piece, seeking to strike an equilibrium, a symmetry of sorts. So the work turns and turns. My pieces are a balance of light and dark, forward and away, full of bravura, yet cautiously contained, on a knife's edge, so to speak. Most begin with a cut through the heart of the paper, revealing the light underneath. The cutting, though quick, often takes many sittings because of the physical intensity of the work. I have a vision that I must work out through each piece. Sometimes I'm able to say it in a single cutting. These are my solitaries. More often, I fasten on a, an unspoken, amorphous cloud of an idea, and I must make sense of it in paper. To continue this exploration, I have worked in series for 50 years. These pieces are all from my Botanical Studies series. They are close-quartered images of plants. All these works extend past the mat to crowd the eye, so to speak, with a floral experience. These are multi-level cuttings with a technique inspired by Inuit stone printing techniques. Included are I Can A Dream, Moon Dust, Teasel Tango, Free Ramble on a Glad, Blue Flame, How Rude Beckia, Clingy Climbing Clematis, Elven Reef, a twirl of jasmine, and helianthus. My first cuttings were birds of prey. These pieces grew out of my interest in endangered species from California in the 60s and 70s. Peregrines, goshawks, and owls were featured. Being a native Californian, my first shows were in Orange County. This is Owl Shield based on an indigenous pottery design overlaid with the eyes, beak, and wing of an owl. This was followed by the Moon Through Trees series, which was inspired by the works of the Japanese printmaker Hoshitoshi. This is Moon Through Trees, Phase 5. The Etude series is inspired by dance forms in music and a study in a single shape. A piece from this series, by the way, was presented to our sister city of Taizhou, China. This is Fandango. Oracles is a series of layered suspended trees showing the tree from root to crown. Two pieces from the Oracle series were given as special anniversary gifts to our sister cities of Takaoka, Japan, and Gera, Germany. This is Heart of Gold. Fujin is the Japanese word for woman, and there are several pieces in this series of ladies. Bride by the River is a collaged work, and though I'm sure you can't see it, her hair strands are individually cut. Even after waking from a dream, I see the colors of irises. That by Umi Shukishi. Stealing the moon tells the story of a mythical woman who climbs the sky to steal the moon. Out of the darkness, on a dark path, I now set out 
Shine on me, moon of the mountain edge, by Izumi Shikibu. Homage to Silamith Wolfing is a portrait of Kira Fiona. Ona no Komachi lived from about 825 to 900. She was a Japanese waka poet and renowned for her unusual beauty. And Komachi is today a synonym for feminine beauty in Japan. She also counts among the 36 poetry immortals. She who would be as leaves, portrait of the poetess Ononokomachi. How sad to think I will end as only a pale green mist drifting the far fields. Ononokomachi. Woman with Fan and Waterfall is a stylized portrait of Janie Kitaka. Hanging from the branches of a green willow tree, the spring rain is a thread of pearls by Lady Ise. Water music is a series of jellyfish or medusas and other sea creatures inspired by those famous Baroque dance suites by George Frederick Handel, which use water-inspired papers, and a limited palette of black, blues, and grays. Sea star, jelly, medusa bourree too, minuet, and medusa sarapand are examples. Ancient airs and dances is a series of mythical creatures of flight inspired by Ottorino Respighi's sweet of ancient airs and dances. They are Galliarda, Villanella, and Bergamasca. The kimono series and fan studies are multi-layered pieces based on the outline of a kimono or fan. The kimono, which literally means a thing to wear on the shoulders, is the national dress of Japan. And the fan, well, it's ubiquitous to Japan, going back to the 6th century. Fan dance is a layered work based on the movements of a fan in traditional Japanese dances. Also, this is silver tongue, a kimono and obi. At the Cherry Blossom Festival, attendants can explore many of the arts of Japan. Paper cutting, kirigami, is one of those arts. Everyone can create a kimono design like these to take home. Flight of fireflies, phoenix flame, falling cherry blossoms, and fireworks. These are fan studies, red chrysanthemum, falling ginkgo, and fraternal twin number one is a fan study in red and black. Trilby's Garden is a series of small paper cuttings that are based on the glorious flowers of my childhood's memory, a combination of my mother, Trilby, and my grandmother, Lillian's Creative Gardens in California. Because they are of memory, they're in a style reminiscent of the early 20th century California printmakers. Jonquils, Persimmons by Moonlight, Daylilies, Iris, Fern Idol are all from Trilby's Garden. Shibui is a Japanese word which refers to a particular aesthetic of simple, subtle, and unobtrusive beauty. This series hopes to strike a balance between simplicity and complexity. These cuttings are multi-layered and of a limited color range, 
with differing textural qualities. Shibui sunflower, Shibui poinsettia, and the Shibui sword grass. Solitaries are at times the start of a series, sometimes a single flight of fancy, just one, no more. Unless. Some examples include Red Sun, Starlight, Silver Bright, Unbeldi uses the music from Puccini's opera, Madama Butterfly. To be sung over water was inspired by the Japanese folk song Akatombo, Red Dragonfly. Feathers and Confluence are both large-scale works that were inspired by the concept of floating through the air. Mount Fuji was inspired by the 36 Views of Mount Fuji woodcut series by Hokusai. The Mon Study series is one of my most recent. Mon refers to a crest used in Japan to indicate one's origins, that is, one's family lineage, bloodline, ancestry, and status from ancient times. The series features handmade papers in multi-level circular designs, indicative of the botanical origins of the Mon design. Chrysanthemum grandiflorum, Emperor's chrysanthemum, pink peony, golden ginkgo, red maple, a circle of iris, variations on a cherry blossom moon. My thanks to Dorothy Kataka, the Fort Wayne Cherry Blossom Festival, and the Allen County Public Library for making this virtual Cherry Blossom Festival possible. I'm Janice Furtner. Stay with us. There's more to come from the Fort Wayne Cherry Blossom Festival. Thanks for tuning in.